What's up, Dusters? I'm Gladys Gonzalez. And I'm Rain Johnson. And welcome back to this week's new show. With the spring play starting tonight, let's go to Alex and Chloe to hear more about it. Tonight is the first performance of the Holdridge High School spring play. This year, they are performing Little Women, based on the novel by Louisa May Alcott and adapted by Marisha Chamberlain. So the play follows the story of four young sisters, the March sisters, uh, and it kind of follows how they grow over the year when, when their father is gone at the war. Tickets are $6 for students and are sold at Bruning and First State Bank. They'll perform again tomorrow at 7.30 and Sunday at 2. The cast was announced January 12th and rehearsal started January 30th. The cast and crew have put an incredible amount of work into getting the show ready for this weekend. Um, it's very exciting to have a lead role. It's also very nerve-wracking since I am an underclassman, but also I had to compete with some upperclassmen to get the role, so it's a reward. For some actors, this will be their last high school performance. <laughs> and I think the glint of my sword will impress you. Oh, my um, it's bittersweet, I guess. I don't know. Uh, it'll be the last time we're performing a play. So. It will be really sad to leave this group that I'm performing with because they're all really nice and they're great. We wanted to take a moment to say thank you to the people behind the scenes that make the show run so smoothly. So the screenplay has lots of moving parts, so it's really fun to be a director. So there's lots of elements from auditions to costuming to blocking to making sure everybody has all of the things that they need to be successful. So it's like a team that comes together on stage and brings a show to life and it's a really fun, a really fun process. So it's fun to see everybody do everything. Okay. What does it mean to run sound for the play? I really control all of the uh, audio that plays through the speakers. I unmute and mute people and play the different sounds that you hear when my cues come up. The spring play is a lot of work and all of our actors and cast and crew have put in a lot of time and effort into the show from rehearsing every night, three to four nights a week since mid-January. And it's a really fun show that brings to life all of the classic stories of the March sisters um, from Louisa May Alcott's novel. And so we hope that everybody will come and watch the show and support all the students. Have you ever wondered who the scariest upperclassman is? If I was a freshman, I'd be scared of Charlie Wells. Let's find out who it is with Jenna and Alden. We have some scary upperclassmen at our school, but today we're going to find out who's the scariest. All right, we're currently on the hunt for some freshmen. Let's see who we can find. Um, Colin, Colin, hello, Colin. Hello, hello. <laughs> can you please tell me who the scariest upperclassman is? Uh, I don't know. You can just see anyone. Yeah, look. Zane Ivy. Thank you. Can I ask you a question really fast? Who is the scariest upperclassman? Um, probably Gabby. Okay, thank you. Hey, Eli. Hey, Eli. Oh, there you go. Eli. Who is the scariest upperclassman? My brother. Thank you. Can you tell me your name, please? My name is Caitlin Baldwin. Can you tell me who the scariest upperclassman is? Brayden Benson. Who am I here with today? Anne. And can you tell me who the scariest upperclassman is? Are you serious? White Pfeiffer. Thank you, Anne. I'm with the twins, Sam and Jeff. Can you answer my question really quick? Yeah. Who is the scariest upperclassman? Um, I'm probably a Kagan. Good answer. Good answer. All right. Uh, I don't know, Gary. Good answers, guys. All right, we're going to go get Patrick. Can I ask you a quick question? Yeah. Who is the scariest upperclassman? Uh, probably Clemens. Okay, thank you. Who am I here with today? Ari Villegas. Okay, Ari, who is the scariest upperclassman? Gabby Rooks. Thank you, Ari. <laughs> who am I here with today? Alec Raboyne. Alec, who is the scariest upperclassman? Garrett Johnson. Why? I think short people freak me out. <laughs> All right. What's your name, please? Camden Bentley. Camden, can you tell me who the scariest upperclassman is? Zeke Soul Daniels. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. See, See you next, next week. week. Thanks, Jenna and Alden. The Holdridge Jesters boys golf team was in action Monday hosting a triangular with Minden and Carney High's JV. The wind was whipping, which caused scores to be tough to come by. 
Freshman Zach Potoshnik led the Holdridge team shooting at 43. All other members of Holdridge varsity squad are juniors, including Mason Schroeder, Nick Taylor, Parker Conan, and Garrett Johnson. All the boys are in action today in Meadowlark Golf Course in Kearney. Track was also in session last Thursday on McCook. Standout athletes included senior Nick Schrock and freshman Chris Taylor going 1-2 in the 800 meters. In the girls' 800 meters, it was Emily Stutzman placing first. In discus, Holdridge also had strong showings on the boys' side from senior Andrew England, who won the event, and on the girls' side, junior Gabby Brooks placing second. Sophomore Addie Stutzman added a second place medal to her collection in the shot put. It was once again the Holdridge pole vault show with senior Jaron Moore, junior Brady Ham, and Rylan Landing placing first, second, and third. On the girls' side, returning state silver medalist Katie Jewett won the event vaulting 11 feet. The track team is also in action today in Broken Bow. Go Dusters! Track is underway. Let's learn how their season is going with Maya and Flair. Then let's check in with Carson and Avery to see how tiring track is. <laughs> Senior Katie Jewett placed first at our home meet with a height of 10-6. Yay! Yeah! Nick Schrock got first in his 800 meter race. Sophomore Taylor Marquette got first in long jump with a PR. Megan Stinky, also with a PR, placed first in his 200 meter race. Boys Throwers Relay also placed first with a time of 50.52 seconds. Andrew England also placed first in discus. Good luck at your next meet, Duster athletes. Hi, I'm Keely. And I'm Erin. And, and this, this is, is Us Before the 4x1. <laughs> this, this is Us After the 4x1. Hi, I'm Gavin Corker, and this is me before the throwers relay. I'm Gavin Corker, and this is after the 100 meter. <laughs> Hi, my name is Aislinn, and this is me before the 4x4. Hi, Aislinn, this is me after the 4x4. I'm Taya, and this is me before the 4x4. This is me after the 4x4. I'm Taya, and this is me before the 4x4. I'm Keg and this is me after the 4x4. I'm Michael and this is me before the mile. I'm Michael and this is me after my race. I'm Emily and this is me before my 800. <laughs> this is Emily and uh, me after the 800. <laughs> now let's send it over to Dan Kai to see what the students really thought about prom. I'm Kayana and I'm Jenna. And today we asked questions about how prom went. Let's go see the results. Who am I here with today? Zach. And Zach, how would you rate your overall prom experience? It's pretty good. And why? Um, uh, won the beanbag contest, or cornhole contest. Good job! All right, I'm here with Matthew King. Can you please tell us what you thought of this year's prom theme? Well, I love Star Wars, so it was pretty awesome. I also love the ambient music in the background when we were eating the dinner. Like, just hearing Cantina Band would just improve the experience yep. 12-fold. Okay, thank you, Matthew. Today I'm here with... Rylan. Rylan, can you please rate the prom music? Um, well, it was mostly by request, so we chose it. 10 out of 10. Kidding. Today I'm here with Kaden. Kaden, how would you rate your overall prom experience? Um, it was pretty all right. Could have been better, but it's whatever. I'm here with Aislinn today, who transferred from Bertrand. Aislinn, how would you rate Holdridge's prom um, against Bertrand's prom? Bertrand dances are always just, they're just really good because everyone, they don't care what people think and they just have fun. <laughs> Thank you. Who am I here with today? Maddie. Okay, Maddie, how would you rate the prom food on a scale of 1 to 10? Um, probably negative 5. The chicken was raw. Um, everything was just really, really bad. Uh, Hy-Vee needs to make it up to us, I think. Thank you. And what would you suggest we choose for next year? McDonald's. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thanks, Thanks for watching. watching. Are you excited for summer? Because we sure are. Let's send it over to ourselves to see how to prepare for summer. Are you counting down the days for summer? Because I know I am. 
So let's go over some things that we should be thinking about with summer and graduation right around the corner. Number one, get your grades up. Your ending grades are important, so make them a priority. Check your 2024 and 2025 schedules and make sure everything is correct. Number three, finish membing in your seminar courses. Number four, seniors, finalize and prep your grad parties. <laughs> Number five, put your ticket on and make your plans for the summer. So make sure you got all your stuff going now so you're not stuck before summer. What's brown and sticky? A stick. Let's send it over to Aiden and Avery to hear some more dad jokes. Yeah. Why do cows wear bells? Because their horns don't work. Why could the teddy bear not have dessert? Because he was stuffed. Why did the bicycle fall over? Because it was tired. What did the left eye say to the right eye? Something smells in between us. Thank you for joining in on this Duster News Show. We'll see you next time. Go Dusters! <laughs>